Hey guys, Rob D here again. Got my 05 Dodge Ram. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, fuel control actuator replacement. You may be asking yourself, what is a fuel control actuator or an FCA and do I have one? The answer is if you have a CP3 uh, pump, you have a 03 and beyond common rail Dodge pickup truck with a 5.9 or 6.7 liter diesel. Um, this is your CP3 fuel pump right here, high pressure fuel pump, and this little guy, this little silver can right here, is your fuel control actuator. And what that does is it takes the commands from the engine control module and sets the rail pressure. Um, if you unplug your FCA while the truck is running, the uh, fuel pump will go to full pressure. So the FCA is a regulator um, that sets the commanded rail pressure uh, to the desired rail pressure that the computer is asking for. Uh, some of the problems that you can experience when that thing starts to go bad or hard starts or rough idle, for me, um, I'm replacing it because while towing I'm getting the wait to start light error and the uh, P1222 code and on the reviewing a log file of the engine running it looks like the uh, actual rail pressure is kind of lagging the desired rail pressure a little bit uh, and hopefully that can set that code I'm hoping that's the problem there's there's quite a few um, parts to the common rail uh, fuel injection system that can cause similar problems um, from what I could read on the internet one of the tests for the FCA is simply to remove it and shake it and see if it has any kind of rattle to it. If it does, you're supposed to be good. Mine didn't have one, which leads me to believe that it's uh, sticky, and hopefully that's my problem. The new one that I got does have a little bit of a rattle to it, so we'll see. So the tools that you're going to need to remove this, there's three Torx 25 um, screws that hold this into the back of the, uh, the CP3 fuel pump. have a T25 bit, ratchet, and a small flat bladed screwdriver and that's just to help uh, get the electrical connector off. You can get these, um, I don't think you can get them from the dealer because I went and asked and they couldn't find it. I think they just sell it as a unit with a whole new CP3 fuel pump. I got mine on eBay and they range anywhere from 25 bucks on up to over 100. I assume that the uh, $25 one is the, the Chinese knockoff and Hopefully the $100 one is the one that's actually from Bosch. Um, all of the uh, fuel injection components are made by Bosch in this truck. All right, so step one is going to be to remove the electrical connector here. And I've got this off uh, a couple days ago when I was testing it. So hopefully it won't give me too much of a hassle getting off of there. There we go, and that's it. So basically just had to flip that uh, flat, flat blade underneath this little tab right here. And once you do that, you can push on the back end and it should slide right out. All right, so there's one of the uh, screws that holds the FCA in. There's another one further over onto this side, then there's one directly underneath. So it's just a matter of getting your ratchet in there or screwdriver, whatever it is you're using, and just getting all three of those screws removed. And then the FCA, FCA can be pulled straight out. So we'll go ahead and get these screws undone and I'll show you removing the FCA. Alright, I got the last screw out, so now it's just a matter of reaching down, pulling the FCA out of the back of the CP3, and you get a little tiny bit of fuel that comes out. That's it. All right, so installing the new one, just a matter of sliding it in there and lining up the holes. And then getting the three screws put back in. That bottom one's kind of, it's a little bit difficult to get to, and uh, somebody on the forums had suggested removing the uh, wheel well, the plastic in the wheel well. 
might make it easier. I didn't do that, I'm just a glutton for punishment. But it looks like we got the screw holes lined up so I can start uh, torquing this thing down. Alright, I'll be back with you in a minute here. Alright, I've got the screws back in. Everything's uh, set. Last step here. So we just gotta plug the connector back in. And that's it. That is a FCA replacement. So I think that's one of the, the cheaper components that you can throw on there to try and uh, diagnose some fuel issues. Um, other uh, parts that can cause your problems are the uh, the pressure relief valve and then of course the injectors and uh, both of those start to get a little more expensive or if you have to replace an entire CP3 fuel pump uh, the FCA I think is probably the cheapest option to start um, to start with if you, uh, you're gonna start trying to diagnose these uh, fuel problems on these things if you have a lot of miles on your truck and you haven't replaced it it might be a good investment just to throw a new one on there anyway uh, a lot of guys on the forums have reported that it uh, made their truck run a lot smoother with just the replacement of the FCA. So hopefully this is going to fix my problem and uh, hopefully it will help you fix your problem. If it did, uh, please hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe and uh, share this with your friends. This is Rob D with the FCA replacement and uh, thank you for watching.